What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're going to check out the Yakima on-ramp on our 2019 Chevy Tahoe. Now the on-ramp is going to be great if you're tired of lifting that heavy e-bike up higher than you normally would for your Tahoe to install on the bike rack. comes with an included ramp, you can just roll your bike up and save all that back pain. Before I show you the ramp, let's look at how the bike attaches. We can look at the cradle here and see that not only does it move all around so you can attach it on a frame sideways like this or maybe the post where your seat is but it protects it with this rubberized finish here that way when your frame touches it it's not going to scuff or scratch it the strap itself also has a rubber pad here further protecting your frame now you can also loosen this up and slide it up and down the mast here so it accommodates many different bike frames you just loosen this knob and you can slide it up and down, like so it's a kid's bike, it's a little shorter, you can come down here. If you need it a little taller, you can come up here. Plenty of options to fit many different bikes. Looking down at the tires, you can see that it's strapped in here with these. There's one on the front tire and the back tire. So that plus the middle frame, there's three points of contact keeping your bike on the rack. I went ahead and undid the straps at the bottom and undid the frame up here. I'm gonna walk it down the ramp and show you how that works. I'm gonna put one hand here at the seat post, just gently pushing back on it just to give a little bit of resistance so it doesn't fly down the ramp and the other hand on the handlebars making sure the front tire doesn't turn or anything works really well this is way lighter than trying to lift it up awkwardly and put it on the rack especially at the height of your tahoe now we'll take a look at how the ramp actually installs there you can see i pulled out there it's got these two tabs that holds it in place what's nice is it only comes out when you about get the ramp at the same level as the bike rack. So if it's down here and it's moving a little bit, it's not gonna pop out on you while you're rolling your bike up there. The ramp also fits all four of the cradles. So whatever side and whatever bike you need to load up, you can. The ramp also attaches to the rack itself. That way it's always with you. It's handy so you don't have to take up trunk space or set it in your garage and remember to take it with you when you go. The mast also folds down and we'll do that next to make, further make the bike rack nice and compact. I'll come over here and pull this hand knob here. Fold it down and out of the way. Now you can see it takes up much less space. We can fold it up against the vehicle and give us more room back here. Before I fold it up though, I wanna give you some measurements of how far the bike rack actually sticks out from the back of the Tahoe here. From the back of the bumper to the outmost part of the bike rack, looks to be about 30 inches. Now we'll go from the bike rack to the ground. It's 32 inches from the ground to the top of the bike rack. Now we'll pull the pins here and show you how to tilt and fold it. Lift up on the bike rack just a little bit, pin pops out easy. I'll pull this one here on the side and we'll tilt it down. Tilts up just fine. We reinstall this pin here, which will fold in place, or hold it in place, I'm sorry, giving you much more room here at the back of the vehicle. Now let's take a measurement with it folded up. See how much space we saved. Looks like from the bumper to the outmost point is about 12 inches. So you save a bunch of space with just 12 inches here more room in your garage, more room in your parking spot, or if you just wanna leave it on the back of your vehicle like this when you're going out and there's no bike on there, plenty of room to back up. The bike rack fits two inch hitches and installs with this anti-rattle pin here. It comes with the tools to install it and I'll shake it back and forth. You see, it's not going anywhere. It's nice and sturdy because of that anti-rattle pin. Now, the only thing I will say is it does not include a lock, but you can pick one up separately on our website. Here in test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us a side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be like driving in and out of a parking lot, or a garage, or a driveway at the curbside.
overall, I think it's a great bike rack for your Chevy Tahoe. I think the height would make it get a little old lifting up that e-bike up and over on a regular bike rack. And you know, I'm not the tallest person either, so this has helped me out with that ramp. I can just roll it up there, save me the lifting, and I can strap it down and be good to go. I hope that helped, and that does it for our look at the Yakima on-ramp on our 2019 Chevy Tahoe.